Young Sasuke. Uh, Kurosaki kun Young Sasuke. <laughs> it's kind of crazy, man. You know, um, I'll always be grateful to the Rat Pack. Uh, for a lot of you guys don't know, man, um, the reason my channel kind of blew up in the first place was uh, Kanye West and uh, the Rat Pack, aka Logic's fan base. If you guys didn't know what that's what they're called, uh, Young Sasuke is what I call him because my motherfucker had that Mangekio on tits. Incredible true story, man. You feel me? And um, you know, Logic is cool, man. Um, I don't have him. I had him on my old Twitter when we used to follow each other. I used to talk to him all the time. But I follow a lot of his camp. A lot of uh, six producers, cool people, you know. And um, I just think that I will always be grateful. Uh, one thing I've always been honest is is his music. Uh, I feel like I, the last four years, you know, I've only like one project, uh, actually one and a half projects, and I've been very honest. Even no matter the relationship, no matter how cool I am with his fan base or whatever, I'm always honest because again, I'm not gonna fake some shit for the clout. I'm not gonna fake some shit for. The likes, I'm not gonna fake some shit for what I dislike or what I did, you know, what I like. You know, I'm gonna feel how I feel. Um, but I'm glad that he's back. I'm glad that he took his time. I'm glad that he took his little personal space away, saying that he retired, quote unquote. I knew that he didn't retire, but I let him get his shit off. You know, I kind of just sat there, just laughed. 28 year old retired. Come on, man, get the fucking real, man. Uh, <laughs> I've been no, no, no. I mean, I know y'all been waiting for that. I've been no, no, no. I've been taking my time. Uh, never gonna let him get over that one. But a uh, great song though. I'm glad that pushed him over to to be the um, mainstream artist that he was or is. Uh, I'm just glad that you know I've been hearing the snippets and the snippets have been very boom bap, very old school like. Uh, I know he had a lot of problem on uh, Bob and Tarantino where he couldn't get samples cleared. That's kind of been his problem for the last two albums. Young Sinatra, the Bobby Tarantino, he's been trying to get samples clear that he really can't, which sucks because, you know, Kanye's been doing it all his damn near career, and now when other artists do it, it just can't. Too expensive, I get it. Dom Kennedy is a perfect example. If you guys don't know who Dom Kennedy is, man, has a probably one of the best mixtapes of all time. Yellow Tape, for all my West Coast people, shout out Westside. Um, yellow Tape cannot get clear because it would cost literally like $8 million to get the samples clear. Um, some great some great songs on there. Dom Kennedy, just the vibes are immaculate. Just makes you feel so California, man. If you listen to that yellow tape, I advise you go listen to it. Uh Gold Out Penis, you know that yeah, y'all know about that. Uh So Elastic, you know what I'm saying? Uh that two short track one. This is my shit too. Uh he said, Yeah, right. <laughs> Anyways, um Yeah, man, I'm just glad that you know Logic had a kid, uh fatherhood, took his time, you know, got his mind right. Uh, obviously his bag is heavy and I'm glad that he just kind of, you know, is coming back now. It's ready to come back and make his comeback. And I know his fan base has definitely been waiting for him. I've been slowly waiting for him as well. I've been rooting for the kid as well. And, uh, yeah, the reason why he said he was going to retire was to get out of his contract with Def Jam, but the shit hasn't still fulfilled. He, he can't really do anything. That's why he's still stuck. Really wants to do retire music. He just wants to go independent and run his own label. I feel that. I feel that. And, um, 1-800, then I killed a pussy. Who can relate? Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man but let's just listen to this man rat pack i miss y'all man let's listen to this let's see what young sasuke got man tetrix is the first track and then the next track is called decades very short tracks one's two minutes one's other is uh the other is two minutes and 30 seconds so two shorter tracks man so let's just listen to this Give a fuck about the metrics. Roll up in a beam of Bentley Lexus. Logic stay connected on the block, bitch. I'm Tetris. Snatching at my time. More tracks than Amtrak by the end of the line. I'm harder to find. Maryland state of mind from the womb to the pine. In my room with a. See, I'm fucking with this. I'm already fucking with this. The thing that I'm happy about fucking Logic is the fact that get away. You know what I'm saying? Get 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 away from the shit that was Altos. Get away from the shit that a lot of things that was affected. Because you could tell that. The media and all the bad talk was definitely affecting his raps. And it was definitely getting to his mental. You know, the way he was, you know, you can hear it in his music. He was acknowledging a lot of shit that he didn't have to acknowledge. Uh, the raps using repetitive lines. And then it, it was it was happening. And I feel like, man, sometimes you just need a little break to come back with some new content, some refreshing kind of shit. You got to experience some shit to talk about some shit. You feel me? So I think that's kind of exactly what happened. Like, Bet your whole advance on a chain. I invest in mine in crypto and now I'm sailing out to Spain. Uh, my yacht 300 feet. Crypto, Kurosaki kun crypto. Y'all know I feel about my crypto. Yeah. I'm so in it that I'm infinite. I'm so in it that I'm infinite. Yeah, so what's the deal now? You know we keep it real now. Strap to the T, I will. Hey, that Beamer Bentley Lexus. Uh, Beamer Benz of Bentley. The one thing, too, I want to say is I'm glad that there was no biracial line in there because you know they was getting ready to kill him for that, man. Um, 
I always say, man, it's hard. As, as much as yes, I know that Logic is half black, uh, but his appearance is white. Sucks to suck, but it it's real. And when you are a white rapper in a predominantly black space, or a white person in a predominantly black area, um, you are an underdog now. You are literally the underdog in this community, in this culture, in this era, or not era, but this environment. So you got a lot to prove. Uh, I think that it's just, it's going to happen. Whenever there's a white rapper, man, you know, you got to earn your respect. You don't get no respect to you earn respect, all right? P- period. And so I feel like with these raps, man, like this shit is fire. Like this, this, this is what the logic we should go back to and enjoy or what he should go back to and enjoy. Keep doing shit like that. But take your time with it. Even if you can't get the samples clear, shit, drop a mixtape. Fuck it. If your your bag's already big enough, just drop the mixtape. Fuck this clearing the samples. I know, I know, money is money, but just drop the samples, get it clear, and we vibe with it. You feel me? Like, go back to that piff for sure. But that piff is still up doing his thing. Let's listen to this other track, man. Hold on. Could have caught that Lamborghini off the lot, but money isn't everything. I ain't gonna lie, bro. This kid look like a grown ass man. No, that's a that is a grown ass child. Boy, that nigga look like he about to play linebacker, bro. That nigga look like he about to do a marathon right now, bro. Like that motherfucker. I just want to thank God for the life that I got. Seen a lot of pain. Yeah, I seen a lot. Could have caught them drugs. I look to my right and see my sister's fucking thugs. Ain't it funny how this life go? One moment you're in the dark, but when he won't, but I pray it will. Cause drug dealers on the corner, they finna spray you with will. And this music is a dream that I plan to fulfill. Hard to chill. I just want to thank God for the life that I got. Seen a lot of pain, yeah, I seen a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How he came back to the beat? That was Now that was crazy, the way he came back to the beat. Isn't I know I felt my transition. No money is See, I think the transition was awkward, but I think it was awkward in a way that worked for him. I, uh, you know, it was, it was like, what the fuck? Like, how did that work? But it worked. That makes that may make sense. Uh, again, these two tracks are short tracks. Again, just giving us some time to, to show us what he's been working on and how he's been feeling and what direction he wants to go. Again, going very boom bap. All right, this is very old school. All right, that's, and that's exactly what a lot of people loved him for those old school type of beats. And Again, he got to get his confidence back. He has to get back into the motions. He has to get back into his mindset. And I think that these tracks are two, these two tracks are great starters for what's... If you have been a Logic fan forever, because I'm not a day one Logic fan. I'm, I'm glad y'all, y'all put me on. But if you're a number, if you're a day one Logic fan, then this track tracks like this gets you excited because it reminds you to you know the Midnight Marauders. It reminds you of the uh you know the young sinatras the the like the like woes and shit like that you know incredible true stories back in the day the uh you know i'm trying to think well, what was the other track that i fucked with that was heavy bro that was one of my other that young that, that midnight marauders is my shit though Whew, my goodness that's my shit um there's another track that i fuck with i can't remember that i'm not good with names i know i don't know i just be listening to tracks but um i'm a day one this shit ain't uh this shit ain't gets me excited i'm just saying man like it's better than I've been on a low. I've been thinking my time. Would you would you want that? Do you if he if he dropped that right now? I'm like I got a banger for y'all. Like come on, you'd be mad as fuck. You would literally be mad as fuck. We'd be fucking livid. All right, we'd be fucking livid. So I think that this is in a step of direction, man. Him being a father. Uh, I don't know how y'all could say he fell off when no pressure was amazing. I, I, I love no pressure. I still listen to that album actually. There's like five tracks, six tracks that I actually fucked with on No Pressure. Um, and that's exactly what it was, No Pressure. I think that was a great title for that album. So um, I'm a day one. I can say this project is going to be good. Yeah. And I like both songs. I, I think that I'm not a day one. And I think the songs are cool. I think it's, it's a step in a great direction, man. Especially if he just says, fuck the samples. Drop that bitch on that piff and do your thing. You feel me? Like literally. Supermarket was I took I already said I, I go, go watch my supermarket video I said supermarket is going to be one of those everybody hated on it at first then they gonna fuck with it later literally um I've said it go watch that video my words are there the receipts don't lie so uh, with that being said though man Rat Pack man thank you guys for the last seven years I appreciate you guys continual support thank you guys for everything man shout out to Logic shout out to Six shout out to all them boys shout out to Sermon man shout out to all them boys out there man still doing the thing. And um, yeah, to the next time, it's boy Dev. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share all that good stuff. I'm assuming you're here. To the next time, y'all. We out. Peace.
you know what's crazy, man? First, first of all, another thing. So a lot of y'all didn't notice, man, from my Rat Pack people out there. So I might as well put on this video. If you guys didn't know, man, I got a red panda with a Mangekio shotty gun, nigga. You can't really see it with a glare, nigga, but you know, yeah, nigga. Mangekio shotty gun, nigga. That's that's literally what I got, it, bro. It's crazy, huh? Love y'all, nigga, man. Y'all peace.